I'm going to share a uh, three course of spiritual food as well. Tender, loving, caring, part three. Now, the first letter is T. Of course, it's meaning, uh, it means tender. You know, God is so tender how He deals with us. The Bible says that He keeps me as the apple of the eye, hide me under the shadow of thy wings. You know, the most sensitive part, or one of the most sensitive part of our human body is the our eye. I don't think anybody here is brave enough for me to touch your eye, especially your retina. That hurts. I don't know about, I don't know how, uh, especially the people who, who do their contact lenses, how they do it. I, I'm just thinking about it. I, I felt pain already. But that's one of the sensitive part of our bodies is, is the retina, our eye. And, and, and the Lord says that uh, he, or, or his people, is the apple of his eye. So if we are believers, we are followers of Christ, we, we believe in God who is mighty, who is loving, who is caring, we are the apple of his eye. And you know what it says? When, when, when we understand that we are the apple of his eye, uh, I have my daughter here, my one and only daughter, and she's the apple of my eye. Although sometimes she's a good apple, and sometimes not so good apple. But anyone who touches her, anyone who uh, uh, um, bully her, it's not, I will be the first defender of her. Are you following? And God is our defender. So if someone touches you, if someone offended you, or someone bullies you, God, and we have the assurance that He is able and He's the one who will tenderly care for us. And not only that, what's so amazing about understanding the tenderness uh, of God's uh, um, uh, um, attention to us is even though that we sin, even though that we make mistakes, He will not treat us according to our sins. For we, He knows uh, who our friends are, meaning to say who, are, uh, uh, who we are. We are sinners, we have weak uh, flesh, but God doesn't treat us according to our sins. And that's how tender God is in our lives. And I'm sure if we ask some people here, we can testify the tenderness of God in our lives. Amen? So God is tender. So that's the letter T. The next is letter L, love, loving. This loving or the love of God is not just uh, uh, um, the way we love uh, uh, um, things, the way we love our, our spouses or our children. It's beyond that. The God's love is a giving love. I had a message last Sunday. The value is determined according to the sacrifice. So if you love someone, you sacrifice. Meaning to say, if you love someone, you give them gifts. Husbands, have you have uh, have you bought gifts for your wives? Wife already? Hello, husband. I'm, I'm talking to you, man. Don't ignore me. Because <laughs> this is actually, it's called Valentine. You know where Valentine, the history of Valentine is? Um... There's this monk uh, in Europe, and, and he was preaching about the love, and, and, and every time he, and he was in prison because he was standing, or he was uh, fighting about the Christianity and so on, so he was sent to prison, so his followers were, were encouraging him, and at the same time, although he's in, he was in prison, or he's in prison, he's still encouraging his followers. And then he would write letters to whoever... Uh, uh, he wanted to send a letter and then he would say, your Valentine. And that's, that's where the, 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 the uh, story of the, the Valentine is here. So, uh, um, you cannot love without giving. Hello. If you love, regardless, if you love, you give. You give coach bags. You give... Uh, uh, um, cars. Yeah, I know, cause uh, 
You give salary. <laughs> you know, when you're married, you marry with your wallets. Accounts, bank accounts are married too. So love, God's love is a giving love. And love is determined according to the sacrifice. Amen. So, uh, um, God's love is so amazing that He gave His Son, Jesus Christ. That sacrifice of God, God the Father, is through His Son, Jesus Christ. And that, that love is determined to that sacrifice. So that's how much God loves us. So that person, each and every one of us, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ died for us. And that's why we, each and every one of us, is valuable. So that person beside you is a valuable person. And, and so you cannot say, oh, I'm better than you. Oh, you're better than me. Oh, I'm nothing. No. Uh, knowing that you are loved by God, knowing that Christ died for you, you are valuable. Amen. So tender, loving, and caring. This is the best part about caring. Um, there's this uh, young girl who uh, has uh, asked his father um, to go to a, um, a vacation. So the father did is uh, he sent his, uh, his daughter's cell phone so he could track uh, his daughter's uh, whereabouts, especially going from one uh, um, airport to another. So he he's able to track her. Her, uh, his daughter, so he would know that uh, she she arrived on the, the proper time on the terminal as well. And 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 the, the thing is about that is because of his care, because he cares for for his daughter, he was able to track her, uh, uh, track track her, and and then. But that's the thing is, it's so limited because after that she arrived at the airport or the place her destination, he doesn't know what she's doing. Compared to our God the Father, He cares for us and He knows every detail of our lives. He knows what we're going through. Maybe you are on your good side of your story right now that you're enjoying, you are successful. But maybe you're on the other side that are you're struggling or, 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 or uh, um, fighting, something like that and so on. But God cares. The Bible says, cast your cares upon him, for he cares for you. And this is the best thing that we, 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 we need to understand is there's a father, there's a good, good father that cares for us. Not only that he cares, that he is also tender in how he treats us. Tender that, uh, uh, um, I, again, I have never worn a uh, um, um, contact lens, so I don't know how careful you should wear your contact lens. And, and I do believe uh, some people here who, who wear contacts, they have to be